and welcome. My name is Peter Havens, and I'm the Director of Product Management here at Centrify for Endpoint Solutions. In this video, we will see just how easy it is to deploy the Monkey Managed Software Center to Max enrolled in the Centrify Identity Service. You should learn how to deploy the Monkey Managed Software Center, how to create an enterprise app store or self-service portal for Mac users, learn how to silently install required applications to enroll Macs, and learn how easy it is for Mac users to browse and install approved applications on their own. The first step is to enable the policy that will install the Monkey Managed Software Center on enrolled Macs. You'll find it in the admin portal under Policies, Mobile Device Policies, OS X Settings, and under Application Management. Before we get started with the end user experience, let's set up one application to install automatically. I'll choose the Sublime Text Editor app that we uploaded in the previous video. If I go under User Access and select the automatic install and change it to optional install, the user will see this in the catalog rather than have the application installed automatically. All right, now we will log into the portal as an end user. If your Mac isn't already enrolled, you may be prompted to enroll. And as a part of the enrollment process, an identification cert will be deployed to the enrolled Mac. This certificate is used as a part of the Centrify Monkey plugin to identify the user to the Centrify backend repository. After enrollment is complete, you should see that the Managed Software Center is automatically installed into the user's applications. At this point, the user can launch the Managed Software Center to browse applications available for installation. In addition, applications that were marked as automatic install will be silently installed in the background. As you can see, the Sublime Text Editor was automatically added to the application list. Let's see if we can find another application the user may want to install. We'll use the VLC application for this demonstration. Just click Install. Regardless of whether the user is an admin or a standard user, he or she should be able to click the Install button and see the application download and install upon request. While VLC is downloading and installing, we can take a look around and we'll see that the Managed Software Center lists all applications available to the user and also allows the user to view the applications by category. I can also drill down into any application to see the specific details about that application. Let's take a look at TextMate. All right, it looks like our VLC app has finished installing. And even though I'm not an admin user, I can still uninstall the application from the Managed Software Center as well. That's all there is to it. Thank you.